All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an LG 16H prime battery. This is going to be a long, boring video, but if you just bought one of these batteries, you probably want to watch this. I'm going to split it up into two episodes. First one is the basic assembly of the battery and connecting it. And then the second episode is going to be how to get the battery commissioned with LG. Let's get to it. Well, that's interesting, guys. I'm missing the wall mount bracket for the battery. My bad was not missing. I'm just getting old I guess. Shimmers over panels in line, copper and sweat in that endless grind. One watt, one watt to a megawatt shine. Woke with the dawn on a blanket of sand, chasing the light like a gold rush band. Megawatt dreams in a plywood crate, bolted them down and I widen my fate. Racking the rows where the rattle is wrong. Sun's One thing I found on the last battery is if you don't get this stuff off before you attach it to the wall, you ain't getting it off. Now, what is the fun part? We're just going to slide it right out of here. So kind of walk it out. You want to put the B battery towards the wall. And the only way to tell which battery is which is you look at the serial number here. Hmm. Let me double check this. Writing so small, I gotta get my magnifiers. Okay, this is a B. Right underneath the serial number. There's another number, and the, the last character is a B on this one. So the other one should be an A. B goes in the back, A goes in the front. And these are pretty heavy, I think they're 130 or 150 pounds, something like that. And watch you don't pinch your fingers down there too. Well, I got this reversed. Good going. It says rear and front. If it doesn't fit in, you got it the wrong way around. 
Catch a fiery tide, I crack a grin when the amateurs rise I'm gonna shine, one watt at a time Stacking up the rays on a hot steel spine Part is good if you have two people. You gotta be careful with those connectors. Almost done, guys. Pretty easy. What we gotta do now, gotta put another bracket in here that gets connected to this bracket. And then there's some long screws that go down through these holes to tie the, the top into the battery, the lower, the lower part.
So this bracket goes on there. And then of course the lower bracket is too low. How in the world did that ever happen? I wonder if it's off by this amount. You know? I did put the template on it and it came out wrong. What's going on there? Don't rely on the temp. Don't rely on the template. Should have measured it. Something, ain't it? Well, no, we missed one thing. There we go. Now we got to wire it up. Get to the fun part. Take this cover off. And there's all the pretty pieces. Alright. Gonna take a little break here guys. Alright, we got battery positive, battery negative and battery ground in now we just gotta get the battery side done make sure that the breakers turned off and we're gonna shove the negative in Sucks to get old, guys. I used to have perfect 2020 vision in my younger days. All right. On your RS-485 cable here. Let me see if I can get that. This thing will never focus. This is your RS-485A and the black is on B. One side, and I always pick this side, you gotta clip the, you gotta clip the, um, the ground wire. 
you want to leave one side of the of an RS-485 open same with the can if we were to use the can okay batteries connected we've got the enable 12 volts right here the enable ground RS-485 A and B and remember I gotta cut that still don't connect the uh, the shield and that's another thing if you're gonna do this right you need to use shielded cable okay then we've got the positive ground negative battery and got that run up into here your battery goes through this ferrite core and then you've got your RS-485 AB and battery um, enable 12 volts and ground over here and then you want to run the shield over to the to the ground point okay okay we're ready to power this thing up the batteries hooked up these are just temporary grid connections here just to get the thing powered up make sure everything's working so don't pay attention to the mess let's turn it on all right this means it's not seeing the battery now I already turned on the uh, 16 age battery in the Solus app right now the breaker's off. Let's turn the breaker on see what happens. Got to make sure that red LED goes away. Okay. Come on baby, you can do it. There we go, and it's actually it's showing some charge two bars on the battery, and that's about it for the basic battery setup. Pretty simple, isn't it? Let's go to the uh, the Solus app and go through some of the settings there. I'll show you what what's going on there. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that long, boring episode. If you got some entertainment value out of this, sure would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Till next time, guys, have a good one. Adios.